Hello everyone. Today I wanted to share uh, a new video about the motors that I'm going to be using for my e-bike project. Um, I bought three different motors um, during the, the time that I'm developing this e-bike. So I have three motors. A 6374, 6384 and 8100. They are brushless motor. Uh, these two, the smaller one, they, are, they don't have a sensor uh, hole. While this guy, the big guy, has a sensor hole. A hole sensor. So let me give you the um, characteristics, the specific specification about these motors. So this is 6374, this guy here. Um, is a 168 kV um, around 70 amps maximum and up to 36 volt and a 200 a 2250 watts and the weight is around 840 grams this motor are usually used in the skateboards. Uh, the difference with my setup is that I'm going to give much higher tam uh, amperage so it should be uh, fine. I'm going to be using a belt drive uh, between the motor, the pedal and the pedal and the crank in the, in the back. This guy instead um, here, there are some. I'm not sure it will, you can read it. Anyway, this is a 6384. Uh, no all sensor. Um, it's a 120 kV, 120 amp maximum. A 4600 watts at 36 volts. Um, the the other thing that the shaft is eight millimeter, ten millimeter, and the other guy is much bigger. Now the big guy here has all sensor, uh, so it's eighty one hundred with all sensor, hundred and thirty kV, and it's hundred and fifty. Uh, amp maximum probably you can do uh, higher if you cool it somehow and it's uh, 36 volts my system but this one can go higher than 36 volts and it's 7000 amps of course uh, 7000 watts of course it depends on how, how um, what voltage you give to the motor and what amp Amperage you give it to the motor. This guy when I when I bought it, um, the shaft was uh, all the way. It would come out from here. So I asked the vendor to cut it, and they did a pretty good job. Uh, so price wise, uh, so this was uh, uh, around sixty dollar. I bought it. Uh, some time ago, so this glass was forty-five dollar, and this guy was uh, more than two hundred dollars, two hundred and fifteen something like that. Uh, because I had to cut here the the shaft, and it has a hole sensor, and uh, I bought it even the brackets, uh, and uh, I'm going to see if I'm going to use those ones or I'll be printing some. So. These are the three motors that we'll be testing. Um, if you're not familiar with the with the um, naming of the motor, basically 6374 indicates 63 the diameter and 74 the length. Again, 6384, so same same diameter, uh, longer. Um, 
and eighty one hundred and the, the uh, always the size of the motor. Um, something to look at is how to cool the motor if it's going to be air cooled or some other way to cool the motors. We'll see that. But these are the three motors I'm going to test. Again, I'm going to use a belt drive. Uh, so I will need to design the uh, sprockets for these three motors. I already designed it, I have to just 3D print it. Now um, I have decided if to use a, a belt drive from the motor to, to the pedals and also from the pedals to the uh, rear um, rear uh, or if I design some uh, specific sprockets from the motors to the pedals and then just the belt from the pedals to the back of the bike. I'm going to test that too. I'm going to leave some information on the description of this video uh, if you want to know more about it. Uh, if you have any questions please comment under the video and uh, share and subscribe to the channel. Uh, it's going to help me to uh, do more videos and please like it and uh, again I'll see you on next video. Thank you very much. Bye bye.